World Accreditation Day 2020. This year's theme is Accreditation, Improving Food Safety. Foodborne diseases have a significant impact on public health, food security, productivity, and poverty. Nearly 600 million people fall sick and 420,000 die prematurely each year because of foodborne diseases. Accredited conformity assessment services in the food industry are of vital importance, especially as 30% of foodborne deaths occur among children under 5 years of age. For consumers around the world, access to safe and nutritious food is an essential requirement for maintaining their overall health and well-being. Food safety relies on all players involved in the supply of food, from farmers, producers, suppliers, to retailers, brand owners, and consumers to contribute to the goal of safe food. Based on reports from FAO, WHO, and WTO, the impact of unsafe food costs low- and middle-income economies approximately 110 billion U.S. dollars. The total productivity loss is estimated at 95.2 billion U.S. dollars a year. The purpose of the IAF and ILAC mutual recognition agreements is to provide users assurance that accredited conformity assessment activities, for example testing, inspection, and certification in other economies, operate to the same standard as those in their own economies. Accreditation in the top of the quality infrastructure provides confidence in the competence, impartiality, and consistent operation of conformity assessment bodies. Under the ILAC Mutual Recognition Arrangement MRA, 73 accreditation bodies are recognized for providing accreditation for inspection bodies, and around 11,000 inspection bodies are accredited by those ABs to provide diverse inspection services, such as pre-shipment, plant health, meat quality and storage, slaughterhouses, and catering in hotels. The global trade of food has become highly complex and interconnected. Inspection reports are therefore relied upon in international trade. Accreditation reduces inefficiencies by decreasing duplication of audits and retesting or inspection. Accredited third-party management system certification bodies are relied on to conduct food safety audits and issue certifications of food facilities. Product certification bodies use ISO IEC 17065 to audit the production and supply chain of a diverse range of nutritious foods and assess their conformity to local and international schemes. Persons certification bodies are also used to assess the competency of persons carrying out a diverse range of functions in the food supply chain. The new standard for validation and verification bodies will also have have its applications in the food industry. Accredited laboratories are used to take and test samples throughout the food supply chain, calibrate equipment used in the industry, and detect foodborne diseases. Around 76,500 laboratories are accredited worldwide by ILAC MRA signatories. These laboratories cover a wide range of services that can be categorized into types of testing, such as chemical, microbiological, packaging, environmental, sensory, plant health, veterinary, foodborne disease detection, etc. Conformity assessment is one of the three categories of measures that the TBT agreement applied to cover trade in all goods, including food. The three categories are technical regulations, standards, conformity assessment procedures. By facilitating trade and ensuring the quality and safety of food products and processes, accreditation and accredited conformity assessment services directly contribute to the achievement of many of the sustainable development goals, especially those related to ending hunger and poverty and promoting good health and well-being, hence contributing to the establishment of sustainable cities and communities. Let's all celebrate World Accreditation Day 2020. Accreditation. Improving food safety.